The genesis of this came out of 50 years ago in film school, trying to understand how to create a look in my image. Back then, I controlled uh, film by my exposure, by uh, the lab, by pushing or pulling, and I lost that when I came to the digital world. Why couldn't I apply the same ideas in exposure the way I used to work with a Polaroid camera that was calibrated to the different ASAs, so I had some visual reference of how the negative would be exposed. So I, in a certain sense, I was applying that now to the digital world. What Ensel Adams did with the zone system, where everything is really referenced to 18% gray, our meters, the stop, the way the lab worked. I use 18% gray because that's a good starting point for understanding what flesh tone is. And flesh tone for me is the most important part of the exposure in the scene, and then I balance everything around the flesh tone. But the thing I eventually came upon was the use of IRE, which is linear. Photographically, we think in light and stops. If you went from 2 to 2.8 or 2.8 to 4, you double the amount of light. The problem with IRE is it's linear, so it's 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Everyone figured out a way to work with false color, but false color was never the same between manufacturers. There's waveform monitors. Now, they work, but they don't map the whole frame in what exposure is. And even when I would go to other cinematographers and show them what my idea was, they would say, yeah, I don't really use a light meter. Uh, you know, the camera's the light meter. I go, I know, and that's what's so beautiful about th maybe this idea is because this will map the exposure and you will know exactly where your exposure is over the whole frame. So the idea of what I do with the EL zone system, which I just happen to have here, I always try to make the distinction, this is not false color. These colors are represented for exposure value, not IRA. For me, the most important part is the 18% gray and the half stop under and over, which is where you want to place the flesh tone. And then the cool colors are under exposure and the warm colors are over exposure. This is 15 stops. Now, we know that more modern sensors are, have greater latitude. So there'll be something in a later edition of the small HD that you'll see expanded and this will be two stops, two stops, two stops. Those outer exposures in the under or the over will represent two stops rather than one stop. The important thing is, do I have information in the shadow area? Do I have information in the highlight area? And the beauty of this is that you can come back a year from now and recreate the scene because you'll be able to take a, uh, a frame grab of the image and you'll see it in these colors and you'll know exactly what that represents in exposure. And you can see like here what, how the exposure works. You know, like that's 18% gray, that's half a stop over, that's half a stop under, and this will read what your meter reads, because your meter is set up in the logarithmic exposure system, not IRE. Playing with exposure like this, like even here, I'm a, a stop to a half a stop down, maybe three stops down here in the blue, I can be consistent in, in different time periods, in different areas of the scene, because I can match that. So this shows you what the latitude is, and you, you train your eye that what this is going to look like, and then you can be, you know, create the, the look that you want. The first uh, feature that I used it on was El Conde with uh, Pablo Lorraine. We used the first monochromatic LF camera that Ari had made for us. I had the great possibility of using the EL zone system and I felt like I was Ensel Adams because now I could place where I wanted the negative to be and average things 
and come back and recreate the same image with the EL zone system, I really could then understand what I was getting out of the, the sensor. This is also working in the pipeline. Post facilities have a way of communicating to the cinematographer on the set where their exposure is, or the cinematographer can talk to the post house where they want to place the exposure. It's also something that you can use on the set when you communicate, because we were used to communicating in stops. It puts back the language that we use in the analog world. It's because I'm an old guy, so I still think in the analog world, how to translate that into the digital world. I think it works for young people to learn the range of what their sensor is or their negative, what you want to call it. And for older people that have gone through that experience, it's a shorthand of knowing what they've always done and gives them the trust. The most important thing for me is that we have parity with all manufacturers that the colors are the same so that we have a standard. You can go from Aerie to Sony or Sony to Red and they will have the same information. For me, doing this is kind of, I don't know, it, it's just like I want to give something back to the film community because this is the way I did it. And if this helps other people understand the digital world, that's my, somewhat of a, my legacy, I hope.